When TikTok Shop launched over a year ago now, our For You pages were forever changed. TikTok went from a place where you could watch funny, entertaining short form content to literally becoming a marketplace. It feels like every other video on TikTok is someone pushing a product they of course have linked in their own TikTok shop. And I'm not just talking about influencers. People with barely any followers are also linking products in their own storefront, trying to earn some money, and the TikTok algorithm is favoring that type of content. Since TikTok shop is so popular right now, it's not shocking to learn that it's also causing a lot of drama. Creators have been exposing brands that they've made money for through TikTok shop that ended up ripping them off. It's a mess, so let's get into it. If you've been on TikTok lately, especially if you live in a country that supports the TikTok shop, then you've probably noticed how different the platform is to only a few short years ago. We don't even have TikTok shop in Canada yet, but we still get pushed the content mainly from influencers trying to sell products they have linked and are earning a commission on. A lot of people have been saying that the introduction of TikTok shop has ruined the platform for them because TikTok is always pushing out content that has links back to the TikTok shop. They quickly saw how much money influencers were making by promoting these products through TikTok, and they figured out a way to make affiliate marketing easier on both the brand selling the product, the creator pushing it, and TikTok's pockets. So let's take Elf for an example. They have a seller profile on TikTok, which means they have a set commission rate for anyone who links their products in their own personal TikTok shop and generates sales. The seller is the one who sets the commission rate, so you know exactly how much you'll be making per sale. Then let's say Michaela promotes Elf's new collection. She links it in her TikTok shop and 10,000 people buy the product that she linked through her link. She's going to earn a pretty good commission on all those sales. It can be a very good revenue stream, especially for the bigger influencers who are generating a lot of sales like Michaela. And that's why our For You pages are flooded with product promotion. One creator who seemed to hit the jackpot recently with TikTok shop was someone named Rachel Madison Carlisle. Now you might recognize Rachel from a video I did a few months back on rage baiting. She's the one that's been trying to push her new blush hack where she underpaints with a ton of blush and claims it's the next best technique. She was taking all these big beauty influencers, trying to get them to use her blush method, but it never seemed to pick up. I wonder why. Rachel is a small creator. She has just over 60,000 followers and she also utilizes TikTok shop. A few weeks ago, she posted a video promoting this hair identifier spray and this video went viral. I bought this hair identifier spray off of the TikTok shop. So far, I'm the fuzziest person I've seen. Why do I have neck hairs that literally like glisten and flop in the wind? This is definitely a new skincare product for me, but you're supposed to like shave your face. Look like Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy fella. Look at all the fuzzies it got off of me. The forbidden Parmesan. Okay, I just rinsed my face with water and put on my usual face oil. There's absolutely no filters on or anything, but look how freaking smooth my skin is. Why have I not been doing this forever? I went from looking like a snow Chewbacca to glowy. 10 out of 10 on this purchase and I was able to use a coupon. I'm gonna go ahead and call this a new must have beauty product. I mean, this glow speaks for itself. It's currently sitting at 16 million views and you can bet she was probably making good money since she had the product link in her TikTok. Well, you would think that she was making good money if the company was actually paying her. After generating all those views promoting this product, Rachel came out to say that the brand wasn't giving her her money. Oh, I got scammed by this viral TikTok shop business. So you don't get scammed too. So I bought the viral hair identifier spray, but if you buy stuff on there, you can post a link to the video and people can buy from your link. If you do that, most of the companies give you commission if they have it advertised. Commission if your video actually makes sales for them. So I try to post videos of stuff I buy if I like it. I've sold a few makeup brushes that way. Like I've sold a few eyeshadows just little stuff like that, but I've never thought much of it. So I tried out and post this video and I actually do love the product. Like it worked super good. It was super satisfying. That's not where the trickery started. So the next morning I wake up and check on my video and it's at like 3.4 million views just in like the last five hours since I went to sleep. And I get that that might not even be a lot of views like compared to other creators. Like I am a small creator. So that was like, stop the press. I'm going to be interviewed by Oprah soon. Rachel said that she was supposed to earn $2.52 per sale, and since her video generated 16 million views, you would expect 
expect there to be quite a few sales through her video. Of course, I'm super excited to check my commissions because it says you earn $2.52 per sale. I'm assuming with like 3.4 million views overnight and all this stuff, like it was probably at least like maybe I made a thousand bucks and I was excited. Go to check, it says zero, no data, like nothing's even showing up. Like I've done TikTok shop videos before, like it tells you how many you sold, like all like your estimated commissions, none of it's there. So when she saw that none of this data was showing up, she messaged the brand. They said they would figure it out. And as they were allegedly trying to figure it out, her video was still up promoting their product, generating views and probably sales. I messaged the hair identifier people. First they kept ghosting me and then they're like, okay, definitely, this is definitely a glitch. Like we'll get this solved by the end of the day. So on Sunday, the video is at like 9 million. So I posted it Friday night, Saturday morning it was at 3.4 million and then Sunday morning it was at 9 million. Monday, I finally get a message back. They said like, hey, we're sorry, but this is out of our control. We've sent this issue to TikTok and we're so sorry you're going through it. Now we have the brand saying that it's an error with TikTok themselves. Some error was happening where they couldn't see how many sales she made them. So Rachel reached out to TikTok support and they said the issue actually wasn't on their end and told her the brand was acting fishy with her. So MC literally says, this is fishy. They have complete control over your commission. By Monday, it's at 12 million. They're like, this is crazy if you're not getting any commissions for a video with 12 million views. After some back and forth, Skin Body finally messaged Rachel back and they said, I know this is such a bummer that such awesome video experienced this issue. What we can do is that you can use the 18% targeted link which had worked for this creator and for the new videos such as you replying to comments on the previous video. We will put extra budget of ads to promote it. Because they're not planning on paying me. It's just a bummer, they said. Which at the end of the day, I was broke yesterday, I'm broke today, like nothing's changed from this situation. So beware. And like I said, like I've done some TikTok shop stuff, but not that into it. Like if this is a normal thing that happened, if you're like a bigger creator, like oh, let me know, but just sharing my experience. And people in the comments were telling Rachel just how much money she could have possibly earned if the brand actually did pay her. One person said, you would have made $22,680 already at 9 million views. And I don't know if that's true. We don't have TikTok shop here, so I really have no idea. But Rachel responded and she said, what could have been is absolutely insane to think about. And they told me that they changed my commission rate to 378 as an apology. Another person commented and said, I have a TikTok shop video at 3 million views and made over $2,000 on it and got paid. That's crazy, absolutely not. And Rachel said, oh my God, I can't even think about how much it could have been. The whole thing is just messed up. A few days later, Rachel put out yet another update and said the company was now trying to take legal action against her for her video exposing them. Last night after posting the video exposing what they're doing, they apologized and said they're gonna make it right and asked if I could either take down the video or post an update saying that they're gonna make it right. And I said, when you make it right, the company is now trying to take legal action against me for my false accusation saying they were a scam. So they didn't pay me the commission. So anytime you post a TikTok shop video, you are entitled to the commission that the brand promises. I bought the product, I reviewed it, I liked it, I added it to my video just like any other one. I've sold a few things, nothing crazy. But a scam is to deceive and defraud someone, so I feel like I was definitely deceived and defrauded because I didn't get the commission that they promised, and there's an agreement thing you like check mark when you post a TikTok shop video. Obtain something such as money by a scam. So they have probably made hundreds of thousands of dollars off my video, but they're not paying the commission that they promised to their creators. So they scheduled a meeting for today in the meeting we talked about it they said like this is definitely a tiktok glitch like they keep blaming tiktok so tiktok if you're seeing this this company is saying this is all you and this brand is very popular on tiktok right now a lot of creators are promoting them because of the tiktok shop benefits and rachel's video was catching their attention one affiliate commented on her video and said wait i sold a bunch for them too how did you realize they weren't paying i just look now and there is a bunch of canceled orders allegedly and Rachel responded and said, I noticed within like the first 12 hours. Another person said, I also just check mine and have an abnormally large amount of canceled slash ineligible orders. And the original commenter wrote back and said, right? Like why would so many be canceled right away? But someone else pointed out that all the canceled orders could be due to this drama and people not wanting to support the brand, which I can definitely see happening. 
Day. It's probably a huge reason why the brand was reaching out to her asking for a settlement for her to delete her videos, but I guess they didn't like the number she asked them for. And on the meeting, they asked me to come up with a settlement payment, and I did. I sent it to them, and then they were mad, and they said, like, no, you're demanding from us. I said, I'm not demanding anything, like... This is what I'm asking for. And I sent them the calculations on what I'm basing it off of with my video views, the sales, everything like that. Like I said, like I went to school for this. I don't know if they know this, but like I know what I'm talking about. Like I honestly gave them a very generous offer. Rachel went on to say that she had a meeting with them and she started to notice some red flags that made her feel like maybe this company was actually drop shipping. In the meeting, I called them up on a few things that kind of like seemed a little fishy. So let's dive deeper. In the meeting, they kind of gave drop shipper vibes, but I was like, you don't know for sure, but I just decided to do some digging. I had tried drop shipping back in 2020. I think like everybody did, but I still had access to like all my accounts to like look up manufacturers. So dingity ding ding, I found their supplier in Guangdong, China. There is a slight chance that this isn't their exact supplier, but this breaks it down. It's the same size can, it's everything, it's same ingredients. It has basically you put whatever you want on it and they pay $1.02 per item when they order 20,000 pieces or only 97 cents if you order 50,000 or more. So let's just stick with the $1.02. Like, that means they're making roughly $19 in profit or $18 and a lot of change, whatever. Multiply that by the over 20,000 I sold and you get a rough estimate of them making a gross profit of $380,000 in six days thanks to of course, we don't know if that's true, but I wouldn't really be shocked. Skin Body's comment section across all their social media platforms are now filled with people calling them out, telling them to pay Rachel the money that she's owed, and they're sticking with the story that this is all an issue with TikTok, not with them. They replied to someone and said, Commission payments are handled directly by TikTok, not by us. We are working with TikTok to ensure the influencer receives her commission promptly. Someone replied and said, or y'all could pay the girl that you're supposed to and make things right. And they said, we have worked with over 2000 plus creators. Many have reached over 10 plus million views. We really value to nurture long-term relationships with them. We will not do such things as risking our reputation. Another person said, doesn't have time to pay the poor girl her commission, but has time to respond to every hate comment. And they replied, a significant amount of money was requested from the creator. We will have to discuss this with TikTok since commission is automatically paid by TikTok. After Rachel saw them trying to do some damage control in their comment section, she put out one last update with her final thoughts wrapping up the whole situation. 15 million views now. And the product is getting close to selling out. I don't know if that's all me, but I am the top performing video in the last seven days and it's generating a ton of sales still. They have not had any contact with me since Wednesday, but don't you worry. They are working like a dog day and night in my comment section and in their comment section, replying back to everyone, specifically saying that they will get the justice that they deserve. I think a super fun content idea for y'all, since y'all love taking my organic content and making money off of it, would be to give us a tour of your American factory where you manufacture this, it says on the back of this bottle, because all the manufacturers I found for this product were in China. But let's see your American facility. That seems like a fun piece of content. Y'all can have that for free. That's a good idea. Because if it's not actually manufactured in America, wouldn't that be considered a lie? In my opinion. That's cruelty free, but it kind of seems like we're already off to a cruel summer to me with all this. She also said that she was officially handing this all over to her lawyer. And I mean, is it possible that there was some glitch on TikTok's end, especially since TikTok shop is so new? Sure, I guess that could happen, but the company should be transparent and show Rachel proof of some glitch happening on their end. 16 million views is major. You can bet the big influencers are charging brands like $100,000 plus for dedicated promotion videos, and they aren't even reaching those numbers. To generate that much attention for a brand, thinking you're earning over $2 per sale, and then to make nothing is so wrong. There has to be a way the brand can look at the amount of sales that they were earning prior to Rachel's video, and then look at how much they increased around the time that she posted and at least cut her some kind of commission from those numbers. It just goes to show you there is a dark side to using TikTok shop and that's why you need to make sure that you're vetting the brands that you're pushing to your audience. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below and I'll see you next time.